Mixing is the process of blending your tracks for the best possible balance and musicality. The most important element is adjusting the track levels, but panning, which sets the position in the stereo spread, and the effects you apply to each track are also important. Mixcraft offers two ways to mix, the dedicated mixer view and track mixing. When you're recording, editing, and arranging a song, it's helpful to see as many tracks as possible. So it's convenient to have mixing controls in each track header so you can start setting up a rough mix as you develop a project. Each track has its own level control for varying volume and panning control to set the track's position in the stereo field. The mute button silences a track, while soloing a track mutes any track that's not solo. You can solo several tracks at once. If a track's mute and solo are both enabled, solo overrides mute. Hovering over the FX button lists the effects inserted in a track. Each track can have its own send control for working with effects that are common to multiple channels, as explained in the Mixcraft University video on effects. Mixcraft tracks also have automation lanes, where you can program track level, panning, and effects parameters. Instrument tracks let you automate any available instrument parameters as well. For more information, see the Mixcraft University video on automation. When you're finished recording and arranging, you'll want to concentrate on mixing. Unlike the track view, whose workflow is optimized for recording, editing, and arranging, the mixer view is optimized for mixing. The mixer looks like a hardware mixing console. You can undock the mixer, move it anywhere on the screen, and resize it. Click on Dock, or the X in the upper right corner, to redock the window. What's more, with the dual monitor setup, you can stretch the mixer to see every channel at once for all but the biggest projects. Like the track view, there are pan pots and faders for adjusting levels. However, you can extend the fader height for precise level changes. For extremely fine resolution, hold down the shift key as you move the fader. Part of mixing involves not just balancing levels, but also timbre. You might want a slightly fuller bass sound to emphasize its lower frequencies, or make the vocals a little brighter so they stand out better in a mix. Another common technique is to reduce an acoustic guitar's mid-range frequencies to create space for other instruments in the same frequency range, as well as give an apparent increase in the guitar's high and low frequencies because the mids are reduced. The mixer has three bands of EQ, high, mid, and low. You can boost or reduce each band to optimize the track's sound. But also note that like a track, each channel has an FX button. If you need more detailed control over timbre, add the Acoustica EQ, Classic EQ, or Pultronic Tube EQ, and of course, you can add other effects as well. As with tracks, hovering the mouse over the FX button shows which effects are inserted. The submix track is like a mini mixer that can simplify the mixing process. For example, suppose a drum part has individual tracks for kick, hi-hats, percussion, click, a glitch beat, and cymbal crash, and you've created the perfect blend of these tracks. But now you decide all the drums need to go up or down in level. With submix tracks, you can control all these levels simultaneously with a single submix track fader. To do this, insert a submix track in Track View or the mixer. However, Track View makes it easier to see which tracks are part of the submix. Drag each track you want to submix into the submix track. Note how in Track View, each submixed track becomes indented under the main submix track. Now, vary the submix fader to change the level of all the submixed tracks. A submix track also has pan, mute, and solo. You can even add an effect to process all tracks simultaneously.
In the mixer, a submix track has EQ controls as well as its own distinctive color. The output field for each track feeding a submix shows the submix track name instead of main mix. You can have as many submix tracks as you like and use the Show Hide track checkboxes to hide the tracks feeding the submix. This reduces clutter if the submix to tracks no longer need to be adjusted. Output tracks provide many advanced functions, as described in the MixCraft Help. One simple option is to use output tracks as an alternative to submix tracks when you want simpler operation and greater fader resolution. For example, this project has two tracks of sound effects and three tracks of synthesizers, two audio and one virtual instrument. We can simplify mixing so there's one fader for the sound effects and one fader for the synthesizers. Create an output track and label it Sound Effects. Create another output track and call it Synthesizers. In the mixer, output tracks appear next to the main mix output. Assign the Sound Effects track outputs to the Sound Effects output track and the Synth tracks to the Synthesizer output track. Unlike submix tracks, an output track doesn't own specific tracks and you can assign any mixer track at any time to an output track. Now, you can hide the individual sound effects and synth tracks and adjust their levels with the output track faders.